Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. On today's episode, we're having another cider from the Bristol Cider Shop, and we're also going back to the Hex Cider Company to try another one of their ciders. Not only that, but it's also a single variety cider that I've done before, in fact quite recently. If you've uh, seen my unboxing video, you will know that it is Hex Kingston Black Cider. Now as you know, just a few reviews back, I did the Guatkin Kingston Black, so... How will this one fare against that one? We'll be finding out soon, but until then, let me go and give you some details on Hex Kingston Black Cider. Hex Kingston Black Cider comes in 750ml bottles, but it also comes in 500ml bottle varieties as well. The alcohol percentage is 6.5% in volume, so a nice old strength for a real cider. As it says on the front of the bottle, it's a medium tasting one. And the price is okay, I guess. You can get a 750ml bottle for £3.40, or the 500ml variety is around £2.70. So, pick and choose as to which one you'd prefer. Right, well, um, as you can tell from the bottle, there's not really a whole lot to actually tell you about this one. However, I do know that it is the Camera National Gold Award Cider from 2006. So we've got another award-winning cider here for you guys. Uh, let's just see what it says on the front. Pretty much everything I said in the description, actually. Traditionally made Somerset Farmhouse, 75 centilitres, contains sulphites. Um, established in 1896, and pretty much everything else was said in the description. So, I guess that's all you really need to know about this cider. So, with that said, I don't think I need to dilly-dally about, do I? I might just go and cut away and get this little, uh, tab open. So, bear with me, back in a moment. Here we go, the, uh, screw is off, the, um, wrapping's off. Um, I've got to say I'm quite surprised with this bottle top, actually. This was not what I was expecting at all. I think it, yeah, it's a plastic top for a glass bottle, which I don't really see a lot of, at least around here anyway. That's a bit unusual. But anyway, let me go and get this open. Oh, wow. That opened up really, really easily. Huh, blimey, there we go. Now then, how will this fare against Guatkin Kingston Black? Because I absolutely loved that one, but then I also loved Hex's Perry. That was a really nice one and a good start for the company, so... How one will this do? How will this one do? Let's uh, get a whiff in the bottle. Whoa, okay, wow. Really, really hefty dry notes. You're getting oodles and oodles of tannins on the aromas too. Oh, wow, that is... That, this is a medium? No way. I can't smell any sweetness in that at all. Nothing in the aroma. There's real, um... There's a real nice smell of oak too, so... Wow, real hefty notes. So, let me go and pour some in the glass. I won't be um, having all of this tonight, otherwise that'll probably be suicidal for me, seeing as it's 6.5% um, in volume. But, you know what, I'm going to have a nice old, nice old pint of this stuff. Don't think there's any natural sediment, so I won't bother. There we go. Alright, so, here we go. This is Kingston Black. Now... You'll notice the instant difference to this is that it's a still cider rather than the uh, Guatkin one being a slightly carbonated one. So that's the big difference, but nice little colour there. It's, um, I'd say it's a typical cider colour, but yeah, nice and golden and see-through, obviously, because it's still. But yeah, nice old colour. So let's go and get a whiff in the glass now. Oh, wow. Still really, really dry notes. And you're still getting um, the real big, hefty hits of tannins and oak in this, too. So, uh, wow, that, uh, I think we've got a contender for, you know, the best Kingston Black Cider so far. But as we know, it's all in the taste, isn't it? So, cheers, guys, and here's to Hex Kingston Black Cider. Hmm. Mm, that's nice. Mm. All right, you've um, you've got a very nice um, light, a light tasting cider here. It definitely, definitely hits you with loads and loads of tannins right at the start, and um, yeah, nice old oak characteristic to, fin to uh, finish it off in the aftertaste too. I will say that um, having it not carbonized, no um, carbonization actually takes away some of the flavours. 
I know that sounds a bit weird because carbonisation has actually nothing to do with it at all. It's all down to personal taste and everything, but I don't feel this one has quite as much going for it as um, the Guatkin one did. But having said that, it still tastes really nice and I'm going to go for a second opinion. It's almost got a smooth, velvety sort of texture to it. So it kind of like, you don't even have to really swallow, it just kind of goes down your throat on its own. Which uh, is a nice characteristic for this one. But um, yeah, it's, it's light, it's refreshing, you, you can get a sort of juiciness from it. Another thing that I'll say against it though is that I wouldn't say that it's a medium cider because I'm getting no sweetness off of this at all. It's all full-on tannins, full-on dryness, and just no sweetness at all, really. So, kind of not really well advertised, that one. Although, you never know. Some of you might get the sweetness out of it, but I can't. Well, at least for the time being, I'll get another taste. Hmm. Yeah, there really isn't all that much... Um, that much sweetness to it, but having said that, I mean, um, if they just labelled it, you know, just as Kingston Black Cider, this is a really, really lovely drink we have here. Although, comparing it to the last one I did, not as good, but, you know, it's kind of comparing, uh, you know, two peas in the same pod, you know, they might come from the same thing, but they do taste rather different, and it all depends on whether you like your, sti your cider still or sparkling. Because if you like your still ciders, then this one's going to be absolutely lovely for you. Um, especially if you do like your dry still ciders, shall I say. Let's get another taste. Hmm. As you can tell, with, with um, most of the still ciders that I've done, it's, they've, um, they have had been very easy to drink, very light. Um, but I do feel that most still ciders don't have quite as much flavour as the uh, sparkling varieties. Yeah, the, uh, and the good thing is the aftertaste lingers too, you know, you don't um, have to instantly just take another sip to enjoy all these flavours because the aftertaste really, really lingers. Which is good because you want to take your time over this one, especially seeing as it's a, um, coming in a hefty 750ml bottle as this one is, so that's a good, um, what is it, a pint and a third? Something like that. I'm not, quite, I'm not quite sure, 750 mils, I think it is like a pint and a third, something like that. But, um, yeah, I can easily see why this um, won the National Gold Award Cider 2006 Award from camera, because it is a really, really, really lovely cider. But, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything going for it, so I will get a final taste before the final verdict. Hmm. There's almost like um, either like a like a caramel or a really really strange like slight undertone of coffee beans, which is a bit weird in a cider. That's not what I've really had before. But yeah, just in the initial taste, there's just a sort of like a, either like a dark toffee or a or a coffee bean sort of um, initial taste to it, which is not a bad thing at all. It actually tastes really nice. Um, but to compare it to the uh, Guatkin Kingston Black. Not quite as good, but as I said, two peas from the same pod, so, you know, I can't really compare the two. However, for a verdict for Hex Kingston Black Cider, I am going to go and give it an 8 out of 10. Um, £3.40 is kind of a tall ask for this sort of, um, for this cider as well. If it had been, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 pence cheaper, I'd recommend it even more. But, um, to be honest, because, um... The Hex, the Hex guys do it in a 500ml bottle variety as well, which comes in at £2.70. I'd suggest to go for the smaller bottle as well, especially if you've never tried it before, because, you know, you don't really want to waste your money on something if you don't really like it. So, but hey, that's what I'm here for, to give um, my unbiased opinion on all these ciders and hopefully to help you guys out decide what ciders you like. Oh well, that was another episode of the Cider Drinker for you guys. Hope you liked it, and, well... I've got all this cider to drink, aren't I a lucky one, eh? So, until next time, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider. But until then, oh, I've got a pint and a third of Hex Kingston Black Cider to try and finish. <laughs> Take care, guys. Until next time.